All right, we're going to pick it back up here with Chester in his third round at PJ West in La Quinta, California. Uh, he's currently 13 strokes back. Let's see how he fares in the third and fourth round. Uh, TPC TPC Stadium course. Season long race for the FedEx Cup. From the stadium course at PGA Awesome track out here in California. It's currently four over on his round right now. He's struggling. We'll pick him up on ten. Oh, he shot an ugly forty on the front. Actually, look at the leaderboard on this Saturday. Russell Henley is the leader. He leads the pack at 17 under. Ugly 40. So let's get you out to the action on the turn. So he's going to pick it up. To the tee at the par 4 10. Play continuing here in this third round. Frank, we've been following this young golfer this week. Their debut on the PGA Tour. And it has been 282 yards, 142 so yards left to the pin. Good Good drive. The field. They didn't make the weekend, so that is a huge start in this career. And we all, we both know, Rich, this is a long road on the PGA Tour. A little bit downhill. We'll play at the back of the green. Yeah, the gravy train. Bringing a man who's been there, Nota Begay the third, four-time winner on the PGA. We'll leave it a little bit below the hole here. In their first ever professional start, able to make the weekend, so you have to leave him a long chance at a birdie. Coming into this day, forty-three feet. Well, some players make progress in big steps, and others make it in smaller. After the front nine he had, he just needs any look at birdie he can get. Is a step in the right direction and will help build confidence. Par is a good score for him right now. After the struggle he had on the front nine. Left a little bit short. Five feet for his par. Just five feet left. Tidy up here and going to the next. Safely in. It's a par here at the tenth. And he'll remain at four under. Still 13 strokes back. Par 5, good scoring opportunity here. Really needs birdie. It is imperative to miss the bunkers down the left-hand side. Absolutely perfect drive. Right in the middle. Going to leave him a long second in. 320. Trying to find a rhythm. Might have to lay up. Hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Oh, he's leaked it. He's in the rough. Right rough. Nope. Caught a big fat piece. Should leave him inside of 100 yards. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really. Trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the bar five. Perfect position. So we have to get this up and down for birdie. Get up! Oh, he's left it short. About 22 feet. Okay, on the putting surface, but work to do from there. Big swinger left or right. Notabege the third for this look at birdie. And he let quite a few opportunities slip through the cracks on the front side, so he'd love It's tracking, to tracking, back. tracking, and he missed the low and short. Well, like the old saying goes, never up, never in. And that definitely Can't make him if you leave him short. Another par for Chester. So that brushed in for par here at 11. And he'll stay right where he is. Up next, the number 18 handicap holder, PGA West. 363 yard par 4 12. Left side of the fairway is well guarded by Bunker, so the right side is ideal. Par is currently Chester's friend. As he struggled on the front nine, he's going to have a big old draw. Get around these trees here. Perfect drive. Well, 
They call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle. This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close. Mm. Chester's been trying to work on these little finesse shots. He still hasn't got a dialed in. He's going to play it a little bit past the hole. Let's see if he can suck one back here. That's looking pretty good. Still leaving it below. He's got to get that to the hole. Still leaves him 17 feet to the hole for Birdie. Importantly, too, a green in regulation, so Birdie chance. Fairly straightforward putt. Gonna aim it right edge and just ram her home here. And he missed it low. And he ran it about 10 foot past the hole. So early on the Good putt, Chester. Not. Missed opportunity. 11 feet away. So now he's got a tester. A tester for Chester. Still made par. Oh, nothing routine about that one. Well done to roll it in for par. And he'll remain right where he is. Look what we have here. More water. 214 yard par 3, 13th offering. Little bailout right and water left. Accuracy off the tee is the key here. An absolute beast of a par three coming up. 205 yards. Water left. Uh, wind with him. 10 foot downhill. We're going to play it about the front edge of the green here. Should leave us about in front of the hole or pin high here. As long as he puts a good stroke on it. Looking pretty good. Good shot, Chester. Leave you about 15 feet for birdie. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. A birdie opportunity here at 13. And these are the we'll go a little bit outside of left edge. Ram it home. Movement to it, and he could surely use it. Uh, he's left it low side again. That's still going to be a good four feet, though, coming back. Another par for Chester. Well, John, four John straight pars. Par five straight pars. Coming off the double bogey at eight. Still currently 13 strokes behind the leader. Once again, at PGA West, we're looking at a hole that's not overly... Par four, 389 yards. Bunkers all down the right-hand side. Keep it away from that. On the right side of the Gonna hit him a little fade so off his left hand side. The left. If you get it where you're supposed to, then you can access the whole location. Birdie's a good possibility. Here. Oh, he's leaked it. He sliced the absolute crap out of this. Big bounce. Get him a big bounce. Alright, he missed the bunkers. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. So he may need to choke up on this one as he gets set for his second. No, that's not a good shot, Chester. Still leaves him with a birdie putt, but it's way outside. Well, just comes up a little 35 shot, feet. But all in all, a good shot out of that rough. Going to have to take pretty much a full swing at this one with the putter because this one is into the hill and the hole is cut back. Leaves it low and left. Close. Another par. He is on currently part. on the par train. Which is better than the bogey train. But when you're so far back, you gotta make birdies. Fishes up his round. 75, three over par. 15 strokes back of the leader. He's gonna need a absolutely epic fourth round to make a comeback here. 15 strokes back. I do not think it's going to happen. 
But who knows? Stranger things have happened. Sixteen. We're gonna pick him up. Sixteen strokes back. Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup from sun-kissed La Quinta California live final round coverage of the season opening event on the PGA Tour the American Express Sunday in Coachella Valley all these golfers in search of that first title of the new season it'll be handed out later today as we look at the leaderboard for this final round Russell Henley is the leader. He's at an even 20 under. We'll head out to the action at the par three, 13. So Frank, this, the final round of this season opening event. Chester cannot get anything going right now. So the golfer we've been following all week, I think you'd have to Currently four under. This cut was an accomplishment. And it's kind of all gravy. I have to hit a four hybrid? It, it no, is, uh, let's not do that. It's really like a reconnaissance mission, wasn't it? See what it's like to play alongside... Just hit it right there. Hit it in the middle of the green. Just make your par and go on. Improve. Um, you know, do you really have a future out here? I think, you know, come the end of this final round, the answer to a lot of those questions are just simply yes. Through the green. Got to get up and down for par. Mm, didn't play the wind very well there. And that's got to wind up too strong and over the green. Ooh, it's a little touchy pitch here. Up and down for par. Less than two feet. I think be fairly pleased with Remains that. at four under. It was so, so good. Way behind the leader. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll remain right where he is. 16 strokes back. The leader's yet to tee off. Now at the 389 yard Tish is trying to get his money up right now. Right side of the fairway, so it is best to favor the left side off the tee. Last round he played, he leaked it a little bit right, right here. We're looking at a hole that's not overly long. It'll tempt you. 389 yards. The key, keep it away from that. Bunker. He learned from mistakes. Hit a draw off the bunkers. The left, if you get it where you're. It just stays up, and he's caught the friggin' rough again. A good possibility here. A little bit shorter yeah, shot. For a short hole, sometimes driver can be too much, and that one races right through this 14th fairway. So our featured golfer wrapping up their first ever professional tournament, and it's been a good one. Nota Begay the third he is with us, and Nota, I'm curious of what you. I was gonna throw it about pin high, see if he can come up. Professional be a little bit below the hole here. On to win four times. Well, playing in that first PGA Tour event. There's so many unexpected things. Absolutely perfect Come shot out. here out of the rough. Get your feet wet. Eight feet for Birdie. Take to compete at this He's got to finish strong. There's a tremendous amount of benefit as you move forward and you refine your approach. Good Birdie. Uh, that's how you play this 14 pole. That's Currently one under on the back. And he'll move now to five Leaves him even par on the round. As we arrive at 15 and head back toward the clubhouse. Absolutely no shot to win. We still got to finish strong. Yard, par four. And the second hardest hold at PGA West. Have to be straight off the tee as there are bunkers on both sides of the It'll fade down through there. Should be perfect. Beautiful tempo to that. 174 this left of the hole. Rarely in the fairway. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Into the wind, a little bit uphill. Uh, wind's hurting. Put about right there, see what we got. Leaked it right. Okay, it's the front right hand side of the green. 45, 50 foot to the hole, 35 feet. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. 
Outside chance for Birdie here. He's tracking. And he left it short. I think that's what you want to do. Good life, Buck. Another par. Okay, a solid Remains five under on the team. tournament. And he'll stay right where he is. Still 15 strokes back. A really good par five here, the 16th at six par five should give him a good birdie chance here. On the left side of that fairway, you'll have a good chance to get up either on the green or near the green. What you want to avoid, obviously, is that enormous bunker up by the green. If you do end up... Absolutely perfect draw off the right-hand side. There's certainly a lot of different ways to play a par five. And have to figure out the best way to play this par Not five any chance of getting there in two. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second. Everything fades right to left, so he's just going to lay up there a little bit short of the green. He was playing for the draw, and it came out straight on him. Two shots around this green is always good. Now, for a little CVS, perhaps a third shot on this par five, get one close, maybe make four. Still come out right on him. Should be a decent shot, though. Pin high, 12 foot for the uh, birdie chance. He has a 12 footer here. Come out right on him. He's absolutely struggling on the greens in the last two rounds. Made his par, moved on to the next. Okay. Didn't want to let that one Two holes left. It is a par here at 16. And he'll remain right where he is. Arriving now at Alcatraz, the famous 17th hole at PGA West. Island Green, reminiscent of Sawgrass, 168 yard par three. It is most definitely a knee knocker. Tough par three coming up. 173 downhill, playing about 155, 160-ish. Does not need to flirt with the water. We'll sling him a little draw off the water. Just need a good swing here. Looking pretty good. Inside 10 feet for the birdie. Williams got a lot of air under it. And that allowed it to land softly. That's a nice shot. Right edge of the hole. With some pace for the birdie. Good putt. Oh, Moves into six under. Oh, that's in for birdie here at 17. And that's going to move him to six under par. Chester just wanted to finish up strong in his last uh, last couple holes in his first professional round. He's going to finish under par. So that's accomplished a little bit of his goal. Unfortunately, it's not going to bring home the win. But still a good showing in his first ever professional tournament. Will make the top 50. Made the cut. No issues here. That is into the fairway. And is finishing this tournament under par. Shot straight ahead and we go to Iona Steven. He's got 122 yards to the front. 135 to the hole. Pin tucked in the front. Hey, he's come up short a little bit. Today. And he's a big kick. Inside 15 feet for the birdie. Right at 15 feet. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So this is the finish, birdie, birdie. Chance for birdie. Moving to seven under. Oh, and 
one needs to just lift it out. Good finish with the par. Remains a six under. Good first turn here for Chester. Winds up shooting 71, one under par. Ends up placing 27th. 14 back of the leader. Good first showing for Chester in his first professional uh, golf tournament. And we'll see where this leaves him for his next tournament. We'll pick him back up next week in the Farmers Insurance Open over at Torrey Pines in San Diego. We're on the West Coast Swing. Uh, he's currently got 29 FedEx Cup points at tied for 27th. So we'll catch him there and see if he can move up the leaderboards a little bit.